Um, I know it's been a while since I have posted, mostly because of kind of how this lifestyle works. So I don't know if you saw my other video, but I said that I am in the foreign service. And so part of that is that we get dragged around the world basically every two to three years. And when I was posting last, I was in an apartment in DC for training and actually we moved again a couple, maybe like a month after um, I stopped it, stopped posting. It's like you don't really have all of your books and so it was kind of weird doing videos and not actually having the books, which you can see I have now so many books. And this is because I am now in Brazil. What bar did you So So um, I've been in Sao Paulo now for about two months and all of my stuff has arrived. Yay, thanks. So this whole week, weekend, I got my stuff Tuesday, I have been furiously organizing and I have left my books um, for last because I wanted to film this video. So if you saw my Instagram, if any of you follow that, I posted when the movers had packed all, unpacked all the books. So I haven't touched it. I did not unpack my books like this. I find it very funny that they did it this way. You can't, it's all gonna be a surprise every time I move a book. I wanted to do a video where basically you're gonna see me organizing this. I will speed it up, it will not be slow-mo. You'll, um, I'll do all this, I'll organize this space, and then probably after this video, I'll post another video, there will be the same video, um, where I'll do a bookshelf tour. You can see I am, I am focused, my hair is up. I got my book band, headband thing on, because this is gonna be a job. And I have my Valor Magula shirt in honor of Game of Thrones that's airing today. I won't be watching it until tomorrow, which I'm very upset about. I'm not going to arrange my books by rainbow color. I cannot do that. I think what I'm gonna do is organize them by genre. Um, so, cause I have a lot of like work-ish international affairs related books or like history books from grad school. And then I have like new adult, young adult, maybe like a contemporary, I'm not sure. I definitely don't have room uh, on all these bookshelves. In fact, some of my books are in front, the ones that I either brought in what's called UAV, which is we get first, but it's like 200 pounds. Uh, don't you dare. My cats might come up in the video because they are curious things. Um, so I have to go get those books. <laughs> she, she just totally fail jumped. It was very funny. That was terrible. You did a terrible job. <laughs> uh, I have some cookbooks here and those will go in the kitchen. Um, and then we, so there are some books, books out front because there's bookshelves out there. I think that's gonna be my like, oh look people that are visiting at all of my fancy books and all my, like look how cultured I am. We'll see, we'll see what I wanna do. I'm gonna bring them all in here and then I'll decide what to do with them. Um, I also don't know how I'm gonna quite arrange the bookshelves. So anyway, let's get started. I think this is gonna take, I think it's gonna take 45 minutes. I don't know, maybe an hour. I don't know what time it is, what time is it? Okay, it's about three o'clock. So let's see if I can get this done in an hour. Ready, set, go. <laughs> since I've seen any of these books. So it's kind of like Christmas when foreign service officers receive their um, packet, their HHE is what it's called. It's, it's kind of like Christmas. Every box you open, you're like, I forgot I had this. Very exciting. We're almost done with one complete bookshelf. Well, and by taking, I mean taking everything off. Also, my boyfriend really likes cookbooks. These are all cookbooks. 
and most of them are his because he's kind of crazy. some cool posters and um, autographs that we got at Awesome Con, um, stuff like that. So we're gonna hang them all in here. It's gonna be like our nerd room when it's all done. I'll have to do something when we have like everything already. Okay, so one bookshop is done. Now do the others. I think I'm gonna move it. I think this, the tiny bookshelf, I think is gonna go under the window because I think it'll fit perfectly. And then these other two bookshelves, I'm gonna move so they kind of form like a, a 90 degree angle. That is what I'm gonna do. Original Faultmore 
Where the hell did I get this one? Good sign or something? No. I'm gonna make a parents exclusive collector's edition. See? Told you it's like Christmas. Like you don't even remember what you have. Does Midnight's children go in the India section or not? I've actually never read it. I, I think I'm gonna put it with the India. My children. Depends on how many India books they have. I think my friend lent me this book, and I don't even think it's her book. I think it was it was from post. It was like in the the reading section at our at our work. Oops. That's another thing that happens. You accidentally take stuff that you don't need to take. Church was just giving them out. I don't know. <laughs> Two bookshops done. These books are all right here. So right, photographs. These are all my like school related. Not this one. Not this. All my school related books. Um. So I wrote my undergraduate thesis on Iraq and Afghanistan, which I know is super exciting, the war's there. Um, so I have a ton of books related to that. And then um, I studied a lot, it's called Grand Strategy. Um, so I have a lot of those books, so yeah. of mangas um, so I don't I don't know where those are gonna go because I don't think I'm gonna have room I don't know if I should buy another bookshelf or or not I don't know if we have room for another bookshelf honestly I just realized this bookshelf is here it needs to go over there and I have books all on the floor here this happens. So my dad actually wrote this book in like the 90s, so I have a copy of it, even though I will never read it, but hey daddy. So I somehow have an arc, an uncorrected proof. I have no idea where I got this. 
don't even know what it's about. Ooh, when did I buy this? Oh, I think I bought it somewhere as a DC. I don't have many, many biographies or autobiographies. It's not, it's not my thing. So, but I had to get, I mean, that's I am a Lala. So how do you, how did you know I did not buy that book? from my trip to Japan when I was um, when I was 18, turning 19, and I was with my mom. And you buy one of these books. It's like an autograph book. And you take it to um, each temple that you go to, and you just present it to a monk or like a sister that's there, and they sign it. It's really cool to watch. And I wish I had gotten it sooner. Um, because each of these is different, is a different temple. I, I know Chinese, so, like, but it's different in Japanese anyway. The, what is this? Is this Hiragana? Karakana? Kanji? I think it's the kanji. It's different than Chinese. So, if I ever go back to Japan, I'm definitely going to bring this and get more. I think actually a bunch of these are from Oya to Nara, um, which has a ton of temples and has all these deer. It's really funny. Um, and then you can get stamps at different places. So I think this is the largest like wooden temple in Asia. That's their stamp here. And then <laughs> they were having these this Pokemon challenge in the metros, and I got one stamp there. So if you ever go to Japan, definitely pick up a book like this and get it and get them signed because it's such a cool it's such a cool thing you can like get it as a gift for someone i love it okay so all the books are done i don't keep pulling my pants um now i gotta move this bookshelf over there and uh then get to organizing so this might take more than an hour because i think it's already been yeah it's already been like 40 minutes I take two hours. Though I know I've stopped and talked and stuff, so. And then I'm gonna show 
show you, before I start putting away, I'm gonna show you guys the mess that is, <laughs> that is right here. Of course, my cat is lying right in between these. Like, she loves just being in like, the worst spot possible. My movers were criticizing my bookshelves. Because you see that, like the back isn't really on, it's sort of those like flimsy backs. And then another one is warped. Um, I ordered it online and it was warped when it got to India. It's, it's kind of hard to replace stuff, so I don't know. Maybe someday I'll replace it. Oh, you can't see it, come on. Ta-da! My books! I might have to put this down, I guess, if I ever film videos. Maybe I'll get curtains. I don't know. Maybe I'll get nice curtains. Okay. So I'm going to show you. So you can see all the books in there. Uh, and then I'll show you the piles that are on the floor. All of my books on the floor. Oh, that's all my nerd stuff. Oh my gosh. So many books. Okay, I'm gonna go put these in my guest room. Ooh, I don't know if I get to, yeah, my guest room. Oh, my guest room is blocked by all the stuff that um, I'm returning. So, in the foreign service, all of our houses are furnished, which is really nice. They're furnished with pretty god awful furniture, though, but um, they lay always over stuff um, the bedrooms. So, you return stuff to the consulate and um, you can get other stuff if you want it. So, my guest room is literally all stuff I'm returning. Oh, and she's escaping. Jesus Christ. Okay. It's a little overwhelming. So, I think I'm going to start. I think I'm going to start with these. I don't know if I should do it by genre and then alphabetically. You would just do alphabetically. Or not genre, but like theme. I think I want to do by theme and then alphabetically. And they're gonna go in this shortest bookcase because I think um, I think I have the least amount of Um, I had my degrees in international economics and international affairs with a focus in crisis management. So I have a lot of like crisis management books.
classic on war. I don't know where am I? Art of War. Oh, here it is. Well, this is actually the seven military classics. So, this is ancient China, and this is Clausewitz, so Western philosophy of war. I don't know if if I'll do these in my book tour because it's going to depend on like if anyone is interested in like international affairs stuff. I mean, I can, and I probably will anyway. Um, but maybe I'll be like, oh, these are <laughs> the ones I'm about to list are all international affairsy. So if you don't want to watch those, then you can stop watching. I won this one. So in um, in our beginning classes, when we joined the Foreign Service, we have what's called E100. Um, and it's like Diplomat 101. And I somehow won this book, and it is Foreign Relations of the United States with China, 1977 to 1980. Look at this beast. I don't remember why I won it. I answered some China question, right, or something. I really want to read this Robert Gates duty. I think my dad got it for me. Art of War. I think I might keep this outside because it looks so, looks so fancy. Outside, I mean in the living room. With all my fancy books.
I would like my bookshelves to have those pretty, like, people put them to the side or stacked. I don't know. I guess I could do that here, too. So I'm not used to that. I'm having these books, like, lined up. So this is actually kind of different for me.
paperback Barnes and Noble collection, classics collections. I feel like these are pretty old. Do they still have these? I don't remember. I mean, I went to a Barnes and Noble physically like a few months ago, but I don't really remember. So anyone put all those out there. And then I have the like the new um, Barnes and Noble collections. I think this is one of them. Yeah, but it's the hardcover, so I have a bunch of these.
The first one I have in like mass media paperback. The second one, I don't even know what kind of version this is, but it's paperback. And then the third one on hardcover. Oops, so none of them match. Oops. I also have a bookmark that I got in like elementary school. Oh look! This is funny, it tells you. It's chat icons. That's very funny. Look, this is a trilogy. I'm missing the second one.
book sets like this. I don't usually buy book sets. And I know some people keep their book sets. You have to move it again. I know some people keep their book sets in this. And I don't like that. I'm going to take them out.
Okay guys, so it's already been like two and a half hours. Yeah, it is currently, it's currently five o'clock. So it's been two hours and I am not done. I'm gonna take a break because I am super hungry. And I also need to figure out what I'm gonna do about all the books that aren't gonna fit on my bookshelf. Um, so I need to brainstorm. I don't know how much different this is gonna look when, when I get back. I don't know if I'll do another video or, or what, so. Okay, ciao for now.